you know, Dizabre did well. You must know that KCC was doing very well on the continent. So it, it was good for him because he would put in these players because they were playing on the, the continent and they knew how to play. So it was easy for him mm -hmm. because KCC was playing very well. The Patrick Cardoos, I know that. Yes. Mm -hmm. But now, uh, you cannot mention Viper playing well. Okay. Maybe they, they are the champions. Yeah. But do they play well on the continent? No. no. It's as simple as that. Uh, let, me, let me just move away slightly from that, Coach, um, and talk about the, the Pamoja bid. <laughs> it's a good bid. It's a mm. good bid. The AFCON is coming to East Africa. Uh, we're excited in 2027, but as a Uganda Cranes lover, and I'm sure you are, a man mm. who is following the game from a distance, mm. we need to do well in 2027. What do we do between now and 2027, knowing that some players will have fallen off? Mm. How do we manage these next four years to make sure we are competitive in 2027? What are the basics like, Coach? Yeah, go back to the youth, prepare them well. Uh, Give them time, be patient with them. Uh, eventually, it will work out. What you is would expect more with? focus from the federation on the youth. Uh, I, I still don't know what that looks like because the youth can sometimes mean academies. The youth yeah, can yeah, sometimes yeah, mean exactly. uh, an Alan Okello on the fringes of the national team. Mm. How do you manage that with right. all this football going on? Yeah, it's good to manage them. It's only time you give them, you give them time, trust them. But if you are uh, you're fearing for results, then even the players will be will, be, will not be able to play well. But then maybe one thing that coach is missing out here is the issue of coaching is important. Oh yes. And maybe you, you need to expound more on that. What needs to be happening in as far as our coaching is concerned to improve the players because. I don't know if you, you, I'm sure you watch the league a lot. Uh, at least you've mm. called me a, f a few times talking mm. about league games. Mm. When you look at our players in the league, and this is a question that I even asked a Paul Put whether mm. he knew what he was getting himself into. Mm. What needs to be done when it comes to the coaching if we are to do well in 2027? Yeah, it goes back to the coach himself. How he wants the players to play. He must have his way of doing things. What about uh, at club level? Hmm? At club level, that's where it starts. Yeah, if the coaches at club level are not doing well, what do you expect? You know? But, but coach, let me ask you, this, this thing about coach, I feel first of all at times our coaches are not given enough credit. Of course, some have done well. I think the federation has a responsibility of trying to improve these coaches. Absolutely. Because you can't say... I don't like the statement of waking up and saying, oh, they, they are no local coaches who can handle the team, they are poor. Mm -hmm. No foreign has ever groomed the talent we have. Absolutely. Right from Philip Omondi, Majid Moses, they were all <laughs> groomed, groomed by local coaches. And of course, uh, probably discovered, not even probably, discovered by local coaches. Mm -hmm. Do you feel the Federation has a bigger role in terms of trying to help? Of course, the, the initiative first is with the coach. Mm -hmm. But there are those who are good, but lack maybe the resources. Do you mm -hmm. feel the Federation needs to do a bit more in terms of helping, especially those that have a lot of potential. Because when I talk coaches, the Federation can't help all of them. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I feel it's about identifying 10 mm -hmm. and work on them. Yeah. Those 10 can group another 10. Yeah. That yeah. another 10 can also, I think that's how we should yeah, capacity do, you feel, do you feel the Federation needs to do a bit more? Yeah. They should to identify young players like uh, uh, this boy at uh, Chitara, where Senor, he Senor, Senor, you, Senor you, know, yes. you meant uh, young coaches? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Magera at KCC. Um, Probably John Ruinda. John Ruinda. Yeah. And uh, this boy at Maroons. Same Fuma. Same Fuma. You know, identify five of them and put them Put them in a course, regime of training. training, and make sure that when time comes, then you can evaluate them to the national teams. Mm. Well, does that, do you feel that, for example, uh, I was of the view that um, 
um, as beautiful as it may be that uh, Paul Put has been handed the crane's job, mm. I would think that uh, the Federation should look far and beyond just appointment of Paul Put. This is a discussion I've had even with Brian Tuka, mm -hmm. whereby, say for example, if the Federation says that every year during the off-season, mm. three months, we have mm. 20 of our coaches mm. with the best instructors coming in from Europe to come mm. and deal with them here. Mm. And they handle them for three months. Mm. I know taking them abroad may be a bit expensive, but mm. how about bringing in, say, German top instructors? Is it impossible to do, like, where we have our coaches going through some rigorous coaching courses mm. to get them to the level that they need to be, that where we can be proud of them, that they can develop and be problem solvers for, for the players? They used to do that uh, with the German association. But DFB. I think... But I think they throw it out. They used to bring uh, professional coaches and try to educate us, yeah. you know. But uh, I think they threw it away. We must have uh, a point of reference. For instance, if we want to play the, the, the Spanish play, we must generate uh, professors from Spain to come down here and assert themselves and teach us how to play. How to coach it. Hmm? the players, how to coach the players in yes. that way. Yes. Guys, I want to go for a, a, a final break. Uh, when I come back, um, I'm going to ask uh, Coach about Alan Okello. I'm sure it's a topic that hurts him. <laughs> he's a man who loves KCCA, eh? groomed <laughs> the youngster. Now he's almost back to fitness playing at Chitende. We shall discuss that. But also, I want to ask him that final word transition. Have we transitioned well with the national team? Player retires and we don't know. Or if there are so many options, some people think it's not exactly the quality we need for the national side. And then finally, I'll ask you about Sam Simba and Paul Put and specifically what this means. Also, we shall be looking at the squad.